This is Dr. Clayton Lane. In this video, I will answer the question, what is a plica? The technical term for plica is plica synovialis. And when we use the term plica, what we're referring to is folds in the joint capsule of variable size and location. These folds are embryonic remnants uh, that occur during normal joint development. However, sometimes they persist into childhood or adulthood and then mechanical symptoms in the knee result. The four main types of plica in the knee are the ligamentum mucosum, the suprapatella plica, medial plica, and lateral plica. And on this diagram to the right, we have a representation of the medial plica, and this is one of the most common you hear about because it is most commonly problematic, and you can see why it can become entrapped between the kneecap and the trochlea and cause mechanical symptoms or pain. In our first surgical video, we'll see a demonstration of a medial plica. Here we have the MRI of that patient. You can see, indicated by the green star, the patella on top, and then outlined here, the trochlea, or groove which the patella runs in. And if you look very carefully, there's a black piece of tissue in the left side of the joint, outlined in red now, which is consistent with a medial plica. So here at arthroscopy, you can see we have the camera inserted underneath the kneecap. To the top of the screen is the patella, and inferiorly is the trochlea or the groove. And as we bend the knee here, you can begin to see how there's soft tissue entrapped between the kneecap and the groove. That soft tissue is the medial plica. So here we've inserted a arthroscopic shaver and we're excising that soft tissue or plica. And as we do that, you'll begin to see how the space underneath the kneecap is opened up. You can see here how the band of tissue runs from the medial joint capsule down to the infrapatellar fat pad. And we need to excise the entire length of that soft tissue so that it won't recur. Now you can see as we flex the knee, the kneecap runs in the groove. There's no soft tissue interposed. And to finish it off, we use something called a surface probe to coagulate any bleeding, which will also decrease recurrence. So here you'll see a before shot with the plica interposed, and then an after shot once we've excised that plica. In our second surgical video, we'll see a more dramatic representation of a plica. Here again, we have the patella indicated by a green star and the trochlea or the groove for the kneecap outlined here. And between those two, outlined by red now, is a large medial plica. This plica is also incorporated with the suprapatella plica in addition to a soft tissue mass, which you see here, which actually turned out to be a giant cell tumor. If we look at the MRI from the side here, again you see the kneecap indicated by a green star, and deep to the kneecap you see a large piece of tissue consistent with that medial and suprapatella plica, and you can see how this tissue will be entrapped between the kneecap and the groove and cause symptoms, particularly as the patient bends the knee. So here we have a slightly different perspective than the last video. We're looking down at the patellofemoral joint from a superior lateral portal. There you see the white tissue of the plica, and to the left coming into the view, the mass that I mentioned on the MRI is seen here. Now you'll see as we bend the knee, the kneecap starts to entrap on top of that plica as well as the soft tissue mass. And there you can see as I manipulate the mass with the probe, its size, and here you see the suprapatella plica and how it's incorporated with that medial plica and how both of those are entrapped between the kneecap above and the trochlea or groove below. So here you see an arthroscopic shaver. We've inserted it through a separate portal. 
we're beginning excising the plica and the superpatella pouch first that will allow us to free up that mass and then here I'm going to take a large biopsy of the mass to send it off to the lab and then I'll remove the rest of the mass again using that arthroscopic shaver and there you see as we bend the knee now the patella or kneecap runs in the groove and there's no soft tissue interposed. Here I'm excising the remainder of that super patella plica and then you'll see as I retract the soft tissues again that the kneecap has been completely cleared of any tissue deep to Here again is the before shot with the plica interposed between the kneecap and the groove and there you see after it's been excised. So in summary as the joints of the human body develop in the embryo, there are normal folds of joint capsule that occur during that development. Sometimes remnants of these folds persist into adulthood and occasionally they become painful and are called symptomatic plica or plica syndrome. Thank you.